Hello, this is Pickleton, and welcome flower. back to Let's Play Disguise in Afternoon of Darkness. The grasp of the demon. I'm going to be a little bit quiet during this little intro <laughs> scene here. Used her feminine charm. You know why, viewers. You know why. So, Krachevskoy was already dead. What I don't understand is why Flan hasn't returned to Celestia. Hmm. Is it possible? that she's trying to use the demons to gain control of Celestia? Why is that the first thing you think That's of? That's it. That has to be it. There's no other explanation. Maybe she had a flat tire. Don't allow it. My plan shall not be interfered with. Still, this demon den is so filthy. It reeks of evil. Evil! Hmm? What is this book? Don't demons know how to put things away when they're done with them? <clears throat> what kind of book is this? My god! Cooking this Secrets page. with Martha Stewart? This page. All these pages. Ah! Huh? I mustn't. I mustn't fall for the demon's trap. Those cunning fiends. But I, Archangel Volcanus, will not fall prey to such a dirty drink. I'll leave it up to you to decide what kind of book that Flan, was. Where are you? Z Z Z Z Z Z Z. I like the Japanese version, she says, zoo, 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 when she sleeps. Ah, I found you. There is only one person who makes a noise like that when she sleeps. My ex-girlfriend, am I right? <laughs> Flan, I'm taking your pendant. Uh-oh, blonde girl with a pendant. Depths of the netherworld. We're gonna have to go back to 600 A.D. to find it. Episode 4, Gift from an Angel. Key to saving the world. A pendant? Yes, it was gone when I woke up this morning. And what are you trying to say? That one of us stole your pendant? Yes. No, if it were you... You would steal it impartially, right? I don't think that word means what you think it means. Mm. So you do get it. Then what do you want me to do? I want you to help me find my pendant. Huh? Do I look like a servant boy to you? A little bit. No, but... What's wrong, Blonde? You look tired. Y yes the Seraph gave that pendant to me before I came to the Netherworld. An angel trainee like me cannot stay in the Netherworld very long without that pendant. Wait, so how many of these pendants are there? I lose all of my energy and eventually die. I mean, like, they can't just have one, can they? Not so. Well, that sucks. Prince, what you gonna do? Like I should care. She came to assassinate my old man in the first place. Exactly. Just That's send her back home. Even capable of turning his back on such a helpless little girl. Just send her home. Of course. Laharl? What? It's the truth, isn't it? Laharl. If you can find my pendant, I will give you something good. Something if it's the pendant, good, you say? then you can forget it. Hmm. If I wanted it, I'd just steal it from you. You would use violence on weak little me? Why not? Give it up already. I'm a demon. It doesn't matter who you are, even if you are old, maimed, or diseased. Or old, maimed, and diseased. Fine. Then my gift will never be yours. What's that 
supposed to mean? Uh, Tell me! Uh, Are you trying to provoke me? Uh, hmm, fine! I've got some time to kill. Harold? Thanks for being so selfish. But let me make one thing clear. I'm not doing this for your sake. And when I find the pendant, that something good is mine. Thank you, Laharl. I hope you like pendants. Tee -hee. You're an angel. You shouldn't be thanking demons. I do what I want, when I want. The American <laughs> way. Huh. America! Yay, I have control of my character. Just done for... Yeah, it makes monster types pretty useless. Not sure if they're talking about reincarnation or if they're talking about uh, the new game plus that this game has. I thought it was knowledge's power. Okay. Oh, and speaking of liking to watch things from a distance, let's go to the bathroom with Edna. Middle-aged? I don't think he's middle-aged. He looks like a senior citizen. I mean, he's got some wicked, like, facial hair, though. That nose hair. I mean, you have to be middle-aged to be that, like, unfazed by looking strange. I can't wait till I'm middle-aged. I'm gonna chase kids off my lawn with a flail. With a plus two against goblins. Angel feather. I don't... Does Flan have feathers? Like, it looks like she has little fins. Like, a. Uh, uh, what do you call it? What is it that? Not a hydro... No, not hydroplane. A seaplane? What do they call those? The, like... Yeah, seaplanes, right? They look like the legs on a seaplane. That's racist. So anyways, this is probably one of the first actual, like, uh, power leveling maps. This one is pretty good really early on in the game, because, I mean, these guys, you can just wipe them out, bring those guys onto the ones in front of it and wipe them out, and as you can see, they're all, like, uh, experience plus 100%. So you get double experience for killing everything, you can just bring out a mage, hit him with a 2x2 two two ice spell, because everything here is weak against ice, and... You win. But as you can see, I do not have the 2x2 two two ice. I have it for wind. Uh, because in item world, everything was freaking weak to wind for some reason. But I'm not going to do that anyways. I just kind of want to soften them up. I want to get my ranger as many kills as possible. Partially for the experience, but also because he needs more mana. Uh, the storyline characters don't require very much mana for transmigration. Uh, it's, a, like, it's like a pretty low flat rate. I mean, I think even for reincarnating as genius, you only need like 5,000 mana, which is nothing. Uh, but, you know, to get genius anything else, you're looking at, you know, tens of thousands easily. Damn it. I just meant to soften it up so Laharl could come over and kill both of them, but okay, whatever. Ah. 
With the way that my ninja and samurai are structured, it doesn't really matter if they fall behind a little bit on levels, because the boots on the ninja will just make him so speed tanky, like dodge tanky. And with the all those muscles on the samurai, she she shouldn't die ever. On top of that, I'm a little bit higher level than I probably should be at this point. I'm like what six levels higher than the enemy? I'm gonna have to do something to fix that because. I wasn't this high level in my test run of this, but for some reason, I think it was just a lucky streak in item world with uh, experience panels or really easy to clear floors. I just got tons of levels there. I mean, on top of that, going through item world's got me all this really good equipment, so. Yeah. so they can maybe get some residual experience. Although by the time I ever would need a body block from Hogmiser, he'll be so underleveled regardless that it won't matter. But anyways, whatever. I think I got enough. Yeah, I got enough time for another one. I'll have to do it a little bit fast, but I'm going to take a quick pause break, and uh, I will be right back. And I'm back. Didn't do anything, I just, uh, took a little pause break. It's always nice to take a pause break, just in case. You never know when you're, you know, recording, make, screw up something, or... Whatever. Ugh, I wanna go home. Why is it so hot? I like that pose yeah, that Etna does sweating. right there. Like, not the sprite, Prince I mean her little seat. picture. Juan's gonna shrivel up before we find the pendant. That is perfect posture. I'm gonna kill you if you say that angels don't sweat or have to go to the bathroom. Isn't that just women in general? No. The medicine that a pretty gave me seems to be helping. Upset huh? stomach, diarrhea. Yay, Pepto Bismol. Prinnies aren't that nice. You must be hallucinating. That's racist. No, it's true. I feel much better now. Okay, which one of them was it then? There's the blue penguin with bat wings. They all look the same. That's racist. B but it's true. Yeah, yeah. The heat must be getting to you after all. I'm telling the truth. Yeah, yeah. So anyways, this is going to be the next level in this area. As you've, you might have noticed already, but... Pretty much any level that has lava is broken up into sections. I think they just do that because they have the little bridges, like, to communicate that there's lava. Uh, but pretty much it always means that you're going to be fighting two small groups of enemies. and Or two medium-sized groups of enemies that are all really low level. So... Pretty, pretty easy peasy. I kind of wish they were a little bit more creative with how the lava level worked, or lava levels. I don't know, it just seems kind of bland. And body block. Ninja will not be hit. I guarantee it. With his level advantage on top of his obscene speed and dodge, this is gonna miss. And there you go. That did a little bit of damage, but she has three muscles on, I think, so it doesn't matter. She's probably sitting pretty. Yeah, she's got a ton of HP. 
That was like, what, 0.5%? I'm surprised I haven't heard Flan say crab legs yet. I think it's when you... when you turn off the spell animations, maybe? It's either when you... yeah, I think it's when you turn off the spell animations. For some reason, she'll say crab legs. I don't know why. And another weird thing is, um... If you try to heal the ninja and you have ally effects on, it will go through sometimes, but I've noticed that if you have ally effects off, it 100% will miss. I don't know if anybody, I mean, I could just be being superstitious here and just had a string of bad luck, but if anybody's had it, you know, like, noticed anything like that, let me know. Just, you know, post in the comments or something. But yeah, that's... I mean, I've never heard her say crab legs when I do a full uh, effects cast. And I've never had a ninja get hit with a healing spell when I turn him off. Let's move everybody over here so I can get maybe some team attacks. Probably not. Oh, quit it. Let's see. Maybe soften them up. And then you finish him. And then you that. I said soften them up, not whatever. Soften them up a little too much. There you go. That's what I was looking for. God, and Edna with all that armor, too, is pretty, pretty ridiculously hard to kill with physical attacks like that. I mean, one of the advantages of having my armor the way it is is that everything is spread out pretty nicely. I don't have to worry about, you know, spending a ton of money at the Netherworld Hospital, or I mean, at the, uh, Rosen Queen. And, uh... Whatever I find in item world, I can pretty much just take. Like, I, you know, I get a new item, I go into item world, whatever I find will probably be better quality than what I have. You know, arms masters are, are a plus. Uh, you know, as of right now, I can, you know, buy equipment with item or arms masters. But as the game goes on, it'll be a little bit harder to get. Uh, what I want, because the selection will be so wide. So I'm just kind of ex living it up right now, farming those arms masters. The goal is to get, you know, like 300 or so by the next chapter. Well, maybe not that. So. That could finish him off, but that just to be sure. There's some experience, but I don't care. Actually, I don't think it's going to get that high. Yeah! So anyways, will we find the pendant of whatever that the Seraph gave to Flan? Find out next time on Let's Play Disguy Afternoon of Darkness. This is Pickleton, going to be signing off. Take it easy.